Ai, koi yara ia, ko teiri, ko te urunga tū, ko te urunga pai, ko te urunga mātike, tike, ko te urunga maranga ranga, eika mā matike maranga. And welcome to the 2020 Bunnings National Touch Championships. Coming up, we have the grand final in the 21 mixed grade Thames Valley taking on Kapiti Horofenua. My name is Te Aorere Pewhairangi and joining me in the commentary box today is Hika. Hika, your, your side's out there, your, your province is out there, Hoa. Yes, uh, man, you know, I often listen to sports um, commentary and I think, man, it, it's hard to listen to someone that's so biased. <laughs> and, and I'm always hearing our Australian counterparts when the All Blacks play Australia, that it's just so biased. So um, I will try not to be biased today <laughs> uh, with my province, but this is huge, this is massive, this is um, history making for our, uh, for this grade to be in this final. Um, we've actually had a really good relationship uh, with some of the young uh, Wellington players who unfortunately didn't have enough numbers, so they've uh, come up, up the road, they've come up to uh, the Kapiti Hula Whenua Tararua region, and um, as you can see, the uh, Kotahitanga, or the unification, has worked out so well, that they found themselves in the final. Uh, the favourites are definitely uh, Thames Valley from the Hodak, and I just want to just say, how awesome it, is it to see two really little provinces uh, in this final? Hi, Tika Tonu. Just to paint a picture for you guys at home, Hika is in the commentary box. He's standing up. He's jumping around in his Kapiti Horofenua T-shirt, and may I add, you're looking good, eh, Hua? But also joining us in the commentary box is none other than our main man, Georgie. Ehoa, your predict predictions for this one? Oh, kia ora, my brother. What a game we have here. It's the 21 mix. It's going to be a goodie, and uh, it's going to be a hard one. Hikapini always talks about uh, half, a ke uh, half a sack of kinners on this one. I think I'll put the full sack on this one, and I'll <laughs> ride with Hikapini and go for the underdogs, because I'll put one uh, sack of kinners on this one, and hopefully I'll get 10 back. We're lucky actually to have George here because um, he's actually about to bolt off his sideline rover and he'll come back with some uh, on the ground stats for us. Um, I, I watched these two teams day one on this field actually. Uh, I think you've you done this game. Right. Um, and teams actually were down to come back quite convincingly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a nice little shift of momentum there by Thames Valley. They were down early on, but it must have been their halftime talk. I'm not too sure what they said, but they came back to stamp their one out. So this Kapiti Horofenua side will be looking to get revenge today as we see Thames Valley make their way up the field from left to right. They have the first possession of the game. Yeah, Woody Hara Tawaki there, nice little plant on the ball there. We've got uh, McCain, oh, that long dive, and that's a great touch at right thing there by uh, Kaelin Letoa. Coming back here, there's some awesome talent here at Pidal College. He gets the ball back, number six. He's got agility. Look at that right to left pass in the corner. Nice little inside step. There's some great wingers on display. There's Zoe there for Horefino and Carpeti. Ferreira just coming through. Big Jimmy Gould. Look at this, Kaelin Latour out of Paraparumi. Oh, look at this yard. So this eating him up there. And there he goes. Uh, yes, nice to see young Jackson out there uh, for Carpeti Horefino and Potama. Just looking at a nice stretch here. You can just see the energy, um, that's just so excited. There'll be a nice scoop on the back here, Cam Ferreira, watch him, he's got speed, he's got all the class here, huge feet going through. Yes, nice work, and he's just going to try and find an open player, and Carpenter, Hall of Fennel, a wall touchdown in the wall. I think he's got the touch back here, um, and by all means, if he's touched, I, I could see uh, it did look like a touch, uh, so they're going to go back to the call. Yeah, tika tonu, and that's, but it's also positive signs early on for this Carpenter, Hall of Fennel team. The refs making sure they do get the call right. They're not rushing into any calls just yet. This is the grand final. Yeah, and I, I like the honesty call. You know, a player calls, calls a touch, and we have the, the adjudicators. You know, they talked, and they're going to always go with the player. So that, that's great to see. And here we go. Tim's Valley get the ball back, and that was definitely a, a, a real hot opportunity there for Carpenter. I take it on, but I also like this. Uh, confidence both teams are showing. Uh, it could be perhaps they've already played on TV at this competition and also they are familiar with the opposition. Oh, look at this, they just ate them up the middle. Massive meters here, Zin Zan Pene. Just what a name, vice captain there. Uh, and I do hear these, um, a couple of athletes in here 
playing at a high level, so they come through and I think they just got the numbers wrong here, Carpety. Just a little check off and Thames Valley, they'll touch down and open the uh, counter. 1 0 over Carpety Horofinua. Yeah, Tika Tonu, and that's our first LeBron James slam dunk for the day. No doubt we'll see many more of those. Yeah, coming through here now. We've got uh, Gray on the ball. Looks like they're going to get a little sweep play. Here comes Bondi on the sweep. No few of these players here. That's good defence. Yeah, good defence there by uh, number 16 from Thames Valley. Arimu Alex Alexandra. Nice, real strong defence here from Thames. Just looking to get around. Look at this work here. Trying to find an open player. Great work there. Good work. Uh, excellent. Really, really enjoying this Thames Valley defence. Uh, they're not leaving any stone unturned. Yeah, absolutely. But I must also mention the Kapiti Horofenu attack. They are looking threatening at this time, and unfortunately, Thames Valley invite this Kapiti Horofenu attacking side back into their green zone. So they are still looking for their first try in this grand final. Just over 16 minutes to play in the first half. Here goes its uh, Carpety combination here. There goes Jim. Oh, what a first touch. But I really liked how the uh, Thames Valley Link girl, number five there, some of the theory, just stepped up into that space and just was a presence and it had a little bit of pressure. She's doing some great work here at dummy half. And this is number nine. He's probably the, the player to watch in the Thames Valley team. He's just subbed off uh, Need I, uh, McRae. He's uh, all class and really handy and quite deceiving. So here we go, Thames Valley. Just coming into what we call the, the red-orange zone. Uh, just on that borderline there. Six ball and two hands. And Jimmy Gould just gets the touch. And I'll tell you what, it's pretty much you've got to go that extra mile in everything you do. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of... Uh a lot of coaches will just be saying, empty the tank out there as we see a penalty. I'm not too sure what that was for, what? Yeah, exiting, it's, it is something that you've got to be really strong at. Sometimes because we're so excited, we just run too fast. When it, It's really about the skill of just actually making the touch, dumping the ball nice and clean. Yeah, some good hands there by this Thames Valley team. You mentioned the girls. The boys are really looking to bring the girls into this game. Oh, beautiful. Once again, so unfortunately they'll be punished for that error. They were trying to exit off their line. Carpet to Hortofino. Gave the ball back to Thames Valley. And here we go. Just gets the ball straight back. And look at this quickie. Just sort of stops. A nice little inside uh, dummy there by Captain Michael McCain. And he touches down and takes Thames Valley out to a 2-0 lead. But here we go, Carpeti, Hortofenua. Alyssa, um, young Zoe, this wing, she plays huge minutes. You'll see if she won't sub. Coming in with dummy half, coming around on the back door. Look at this inside play, beautiful. Yeah, that's a ball down and um, just the speed that we're running these plays. So we'll go back to the Uffy replay. And we have Kaylin the tour. He comes around on what we call a sweep. A little back door play comes around. Dummy half passes and then follows. Checks inside. And yeah, very close there. He's been good there, uh, Zinzan Penny. Uh, 12 for uh, Thames Valley, but uh, the official, the adjudicator, Sam Taylor, was right on the money. Yeah, absolutely, and that's a good call. And it's a good try there by Carpeti Horofenua. You see, this Thames Valley team come to their first thing go. They go back to that left side. And Hika, you being a mixed coach uh, in the open grade, yeah, well, it's good to involve the girls as well. Oh, that's that's yeah, that, that's what the team's about. But what's Nino? He's got the ball. I uh, really love the skill set of this boy. I mean, he threw what 25 meter pass straight from the hip. He's a really nice player to watch. Real competitor also. There's Zoe there, Ferreira, Cameron Bond, just checking the ball off. Gray on the ball. And this is where they've just got to be nice and clean and nice and direct and no errors. There we go again. Angle plants. Just wasn't strong enough in the ruck. It's, it's what we call um, when you're running in too high. It's sort of off balance when you get touched. So the one percenters at the moment are in uh, the hands of the Hodaki. Yeah, Tika Tonu, and that's good consistency out there by the referees. Uh, we've seen it right across the three days of this tournament. We see this low percentage quickie from this Thames Valley side. Yeah, Wairangi Penny. The old Penny boys are in there featuring really well here uh, for uh, Thames Valley. Another sweet play here also. Yeah, good touch. And uh, the player that just made the touch, he's probably one of the fastest out there, uh, Cam Ferreira. So he's probably not the guy to run that play on. But uh, that's if you do your homework on your opposition. But Thames Valley, they've scored a lot of touchdowns through this tournament. 
Yes, and a penalty there. It looks like uh, offside. So very consistent there. These uh, these three refs, Sam Taylor, Johnny Broughton, and Michael Buttery. Yeah, some good officiating out there. As we see, Thames Valley look to strike once more. They'll go to this low percentage play with the quickie, easy little pop. And they go bang, bang. Thames Valley, three points to one. Yes, and it comes back to the same play, so they're just running a quickie step back, and they've just seen that the link's a little bit late to shut, or we'll just watch on the replay here, so in they come, they're really tight, and um, yeah, that's a real threat ball. They say if it's not broken, you know, just keep going back to it, and that's what they're doing, but here we go. We really like this tap-off sequence. It's always playing a, a team in a real nice ruck. Here's the sweep again, before they run the... Nice work, and now it goes on the outside. Yeah, good variation. And a nice variation here. Caelan to just rolled the ball. He's in the middle. Look for Cam. That's good work by that son. Tenth Valley defender. Look at this. Goes through. Yeah, good touch. So penalty there. Recount out, Eddie. Yeah, and this is a crucial part of this match for this Kapiti Horofenua side. Tenth Valley, they have all the momentum at the moment. So we see a nice little dummy play down here. The defense of Pennet. As you mentioned before, I've been impressed with him, not only in this game, but over the course of this three days, he's been a standout for this Thames Valley under-21 under mixed team. Yeah, and this is better. Um, I really like how they're getting this uh, defender right out there. High pointy from Thames Valley. Carpenter probably hasn't identified. It's giving them time. He just runs a little play there. Good work, great work by the winger there, number 40 for Thames Valley, uh, Tiana Tiro. Just look at Cam goes through again. Oh, just got the ball away. Oh, touchdown. And uh, man, there's really nothing between these two teams. This is beautiful on the Indomie replay. So he goes through, Cam just goes through, sees a hole, takes his time. We've got, we've got the luxury of the replay, so all in one motion, look at that, passes in behind, touchdown. Uh, it's pretty to watch. Yeah, and that's good awareness there. He his his other player wasn't there, but he passed it into the space, knowing that his uh, his link was coming around on that loop plate, and it was a good finish there by Carpeti Horofenua. And here we have Nidai uh, number nine here for Thames. Once again, he's got all the skills. Nice little outside ball there. Good release there. Perfect, beautiful play. And that's the carpet you want to feel outside the fence was just in a little bit too tight. And when your middle and links in too tight here, we'll see it on the uh, SAS replay. So look at this pass, the, the timing of the pass and then the skip pass. And unfortunately the winger, it looks like the winger was out of position, but when your insides are in tight, you've got to go with the mentality. Yeah, it's a tonu tera. So it's a bit of a collapse on the inside there that forces that try and forces that space out there on the outside as we see Kapiti Horofenua back with the ball now. Yeah, Jimmy Gould's on the ball. They managed to pick up a, a penalty there and the conditions just look pristine. And we've got our roving reporter who's just come back uh, from the ground level. George, what's it like down there, ground level? I'll tell you what, every time you introduce me, action <laughs> happens. It's action-packed. And let's look at this replay, guys, because Horofenua are back exact. Nice, and here we go. Once again, it's the two-man play seem to be working, we've seen so far. So going to get the ball. Two hands just shows a nice little outside dive, and we'll get the uh, number for, looks like number six there, Michael Poor uh, from Carpentier Hall of Whenua. And uh, they're just shy now. It's 4-3 to Tim Valley. Yeah, and it's good to be back here. I think I might leave and then come back because we want touchdowns. And every time I come into this room, <laughs> there is a touchdown. Uh, it's hot out there. There's a little bit of breeze. So the long balls are on, as you would have seen in the game. And I talk once again, stop the press. You guys take it away. Yeah, and we've got, uh, if we just go back to this, uh, the people that get unnoticed. So when we see the person that dumps the ball, and it's this pass from uh, a Makiha. Right to left, over, gets his man on the outside, 16 there, Rumu Alexandra. So they're playing a really, quite a smart attacking game. They're playing these little quickies, which keep the defence nice and com, uh, com, compressed. And then they're opening them up with these long balls. Yeah, absolutely. And you go to these uh, moves that have two, three or four options off them. And just by changing it up, it keeps the defence in two minds. 
as we see Kapiti Horo Whenua, it's just going back and forth out there, Georgie. Yeah, it's back and forwards and talking about it, here goes the second phase. Looks like he's going to scoop, but he picks short side this time, looking for an opening, gets through. Richie Evans, he's no stranger to that touchline. He's well rewarded for all his work in hard yards through the middle on defence and attack. Good touchdown, Hora Whenua. Yeah, Kahurangi Gray just seems to have a lot of time um, on the ball. He's number nine again. It's Levi. He's uh, been a player I've watched over the last three days. And uh, this young, this young Gills from Tins Valley from the Hauraki, he's near eye. He's just looking, running at the defence, skits on the outside. You know, it's great to see, we talked earlier about uh, being a team, boys using the Gills, and there it was, trying to get the girl on the outside of the uh, of the link. So they know what mixed touch is all about. Yeah, talking about mixed touch specialists, Tins Valley have done it in the past. They've gone through schools and dominated in the mixed scene with Pairoa College. Um, Wellington have been very proactive within the uh, mixed scene with, when they're, and Horefanu as well. In the opens grade, dominating the scene. So these kids know how to play mixed. It's a special breed out there for them. Yeah, good work there. That's a, that's a great uh, set completion in the left corner. And uh, Tins Valley put a lot of heat uh, on that defence. So they're doing well. They've come out with a great defensive plan and they're going to keep Carpenter Hall of Fenua honest. Yeah, absolutely. And we see this Thames Valley um, yards here. It's a little bit clunky at the moment, but it's just a testament to this Carpenter Hall of Fenua positive defence. They're getting up off the line and they're making some good positive touches. Yeah, Woody Hala Tawake. Speed for days. Goes through. Going to get a recount on the back end. Like the look at number six, Joshua Woody Hala Tawake on for uh, Thames Valley. Coming through there, nice work there from the winger. Once again, we've got uh, on the ball Cam. Sienna there, Laws just at dummy half. Yeah, this is great work from Thames Valley, both sides, Kahurangi Gray. Let's try to get a, a nice platform here on the back. This is one of the grinders that's laid the platform all tournament. Yeah, slightly off the mark there, George. Yeah, everything was looking good for a pick for um, Kahu on that occasion, but just a little bit over anxious, getting off the mark there. But then the right end of the field, there was a good set of six, just not fortunate enough to capitalise on the final touch. Yeah, there's uh, a few players that have come through the pathways. We've got uh, captain for Carpentier Hall of Fenua, number 10, Alyssa Amatehiti, and also Camp Rui come back from Newcastle with the New Zealand 20 mixed. Here we are back uh, live here, got to do an international stadium with Thames Valley on the ball just coming out, and uh, Makiha Anthony, he's come through the pathway systems, also number two for Thames Valley, just sitting here at right link. Yeah, it's good to see Zin Zan with the famous name Penny on there. The man with the board does a show and pump. They've talked about him all throughout the tournament and he said he's ready to party and there goes the party right there. Yeah, Zin Zan, he come out and uh, first touchdown. Now he's coming with an assist. And just look how he holds the ball in two hands, throws a little pump, a little short ball, touchdown. And, um, and they've come to play Thames Valley. They've come out of the blocks pumping. Pump, 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 yeah. Yeah, as we see... We see a little bit of a momentum shift here towards Thames Valley, so hopefully Kapiti Horofenua can get a good attacking set here. As we've seen, Ewa, there's no shortage of attacking flair out there. Yeah, great variation, and uh, just what a credit. Young Jackson Potom, he's really worked hard. He's come through like the under 10s, 12s, IPS back home. Now he's found himself in the 21s. But look at just, I guess, the fluidity of that combination. They, they were running their sweep plays right to left. Now they've come back left to right. And Tauriri, you talk a lot about variation and attack. Really loving the variation from both teams. Yeah, it was a great variation there. And um, I, I didn't expect that one to come. But Latour, he's famous for those diving finishes. And he capitalises on this one. So puts them back in the game. Six touchdowns to four, according to the scoreboard here, with four minutes to go. Yeah, need eyes back out there. All these uh, combinations for both teams just strike all over. Darian Willem Orca are uh, there for, uh, here we come on the ball, this need I. In comes Zoe, great work by uh, that right hand winger Zoe, as she will not sub uh, all, all, all day. Yes, she won't sub, she'll stay out there for the whole time. Uh, Thames Valley are uh, leading 6-5 uh, at the moment, that is the official score. We're just three minutes shy, there goes Alyssa Matetti and they're coming through the field, looks like Evans. He's working tirelessly. Then we've got uh, Matty on the ball. He's Cam, probably one of the players of the grade, uh, this young fella. Very exciting young talent. Works hard, trains hard. Here's another, uh, what we call a, a role player. So Kahurangi Gray, yeah, got a penalty. Unlucky there, Need I just, um, we talk about making the touch, George, when someone's running up high. 
Uh, not being over physical, but I guess you know it's quite a strong lead, probably mistaken for a, a bit of a physical hit. Yeah, uh, the Hurricanes know all about that. Make sure the arms are out before the uh, shoulder. Uh, otherwise, you might be sitting down to four players. And uh, good on you, Auckland Blues, last night, taking the game against 12 players. A great victory to you guys. Hopefully, we see you in the grand final of the Super, Super Rugby competition. Back to the Super Touch now. Here we go on the ball. Just looking inside step. This is good defence. I really love uh, the Thames Valley. Look at the pressure they've put on. Beautiful inside-outside work. I want to give credit to that number five there, Montel Here Kiwaha, there for, um, for Thames Valley. She just went flying in there, made a touch, and then had to go out on a face and managed to uh, snuff that stuff out. That's, that takes a lot of ticker. Yeah, and when we're talking about ticker, that's what I've seen in the theme of this Thames Valley. They're dominating this mix scene. Favourites in the 21 mix, and also they were outstanding through the three days in the open mix. First time back for, Chingus, almost 10, 15 years. It was great to see them. I think they may have been pipped in the open se section. Um, we'll see later on, see who's in the grand finals as we get the updates. But talking of updates, the score is 6 fives, Thames Valley. Yeah, just... Uh Probably the first error on attack that we've seen Thames Valley make. Uh, now just a, unfortunately a back-to-back -back error, so it was an error now penalty. But yeah, the young uh, really liking the look of uh, Here Akuiha there from uh, the Hauraki. Here we come now, a bit of a tempo change. Just slowly working these two middles. Both teams look really strong at speed, you know, really fluid. All comes uh, Jimmy Gould. It's part of the uh, Carpenter Hall of with 21 boys that won gold a few years back up there in Auckland. So he's got a bit of experience in the finals. Here goes Cam uh, Ferreira on the ball, just trying to get the number. Looks like uh, Letoua uh, out there. This combination, these two work really well together. Here's Cam just looking over the top left to right. Beautiful hands there. Nice to this. Great touch. These, these uh, outside, outside for Thames Valley have been um, outstanding. Yeah, and I'd like to chime in here, being a winger, coming from a winger position myself, um, a lot of the mahi uh, goes unseen as we see, sorry, this Thames Valley come right to left across the park. Where did he come from? Number 16, give him a contract. He went from right to left to right and covered, went past the girl and shut down a definite touchdown for Horofanua. Yeah, the, the, the attitude is really standing out. They're working so hard for each other. I see Ponamu Kitty Connors out there also. And look at that intercept. Great work. Unlucky, but they're just so positive in their defensive systems. Absolutely. And you talked about moments in the previous game, and that could be a big moment towards the back end of this game. So we've got 20 seconds before the half. Here goes Caelan Latour, Cam's on the ball, just trying to find a little mismatch there, over the top, and Maddie will finish in the corner, and that's probably a fair reflection of this first half, they've tied it up six all, there's been nothing in it for both these teams, I'll tell you what, the defensive attitude from Thames Valley, but for Carpeti Hall of Fenua to stick to the plan, and there we go, Maddie finishes in the corner there, uh, for Nutty for Carpeti Hall of Fenua. and that is the half-time hooter, it's six all. Yeah, it's game on here. In the under-21 mixed grade at the 2020 Bunnings National T Touch Championships, this is the grand final. 77 teams across 12 grades, 272 games played this weekend. Ehoa, as we look to go to these, uh, to the halftime drinks. Georgie, I'll, I'll get you to try them in here. Not a lot to be said for in this Thames Valley huddle. Yeah, I think, um, it's like you said, it's moments. You've got to keep that intensity throughout the game. So there was a slight bit of phrase within that time frame where they sort of dropped off dropped off the tempo and allowed um, Horofanua to get back into the game. Horofanua had just been working their processes very well, not panicking. Yeah, as Thames Valley got up a couple, um, they'll be just saying, just keep going with the processes, don't panic, because they've been here before. This is their time to shine. All right, tika tonu and hika. You are a mixed coach yourself and a kapiti horofenua man. In this in this huddle, what will they be saying there? Yeah, well, just firstly, I'd like to acknowledge Troy uh, Hinawani, who's the head coach of um, Thames Valley, along with Vaka Stanley, uh, Sean McRae and Nuni Ellis, part of their management team. And on the other side, we've got Pane Gray. She's been coaching mixed uh, for many, many years, uh, secondary schools um, in these age groups. Tammy Freer is uh, there, and also the hard-working... Uh, uh, Diana Manu, you know what, man? I'll, for me, it's the defeat, defence. 
free the field. Probably Carpenty, they've made more errors exiting when they're trying to go from defending their line to halfway. But Thames Valley, I would just be pushing the energy on their defence. They'll work hard on, on that sort of stuff. They've snuffed out a few more times. Carpenty got in the in goal real early in the first half, but their mirror defence was just too good. So Carpenty, they definitely... They need to force the long ball a little bit more. I think there's been too many tries to score off two-man plays, George. Yeah, that's right. And with uh, getting sidelined with Carpeti, um, understanding their team, it's been a very, very slow build-up. Getting all the players together, they're all, you know, university, that type of stuff, away through the holidays, Wellington, um, Paraparumu, Otaki, getting them together. I don't even know if they've had a team training, but they've been building slowly, and I think they're quite getting their timing right leading into this grand final. So with six apiece... At half time, let's see what the second half shows for them. Yeah, and it's just good to see some of these new names come through. We've got Kitty Connor uh, there, we've got uh, Woody Hana Tawake, uh, the Penne Boys. Uh, first time sort of heard these young fellas' uh, our names come through, Thames Valley. And this will be, this won't be the last time we'll hear these names, you know. So it's lovely. Zin Zan, he's been a, a, definitely a deceiving a deceiving player defensively and on attack. And I guess on the other side, you know, looking at, um, I think Zoe Ferreira for me stand, stood out on the far wing. So she plays a whole half. And just like um, Ponamu, Kenny Connor, and also um, I think it's the theory, Montel, Summer and Montel, they have stood out for the Thames Valley. So, man, it's a battle of the ladies in the mix game. All right, tika tonu, as we see, this Kapiti Horofenua team, they get the first attacking set of the second half. 20 minutes to play in this under-21 mixed grand final. Yeah, once again, um, we're hot on attack. I see uh, Tiana Atirov there for Teams Valley, so the, the far side winger here. And I really like the connection defensively. Everyone's sort of really good posture. Just going to have a look here, right to left, over the top. Zoe catches this, and it's a touchdown. A Kapiti Horofenua, first team to score in the second half. They go take the lead now, 7-6. Here it is on the replay. So the Thames Valley defence, they're actually static. So no one's dropping off. So now we've got to, a, a defensive team that's running backwards while we're attacking them, which is far easier to already. Yeah, Tika Tonu, and you can't ask for a better start. No doubt the coaching box will be happy with that one as we see a beautiful finish. And you talked about the wingers of this uh, Kapiti Horofenua side. And they're just stepping up in the second half. Yeah, and here we go. Montel, she's in there. Really like the look of Montel. And I see also Damien McCaskill's out there. Here's Leroy. Run a little face play here. This is good work. A little oh, look at the pass too. <laughs> nice work. Yeah, just got a lot of skills. That's a good shutdown there by Alyssa Matiti. Here's uh, Leroy. Just using the ball. Now, there's no problem if they don't score here, you know. You, it's not how you start the race, George, it's how you finish it. Yeah, and at the moment, with the um, defence, you talked about defence and moments on defence. That is a great start for Horofanua to come out of the, the guns there in the second half and put on a performance like that. That's a great start. That's something to build for for the second half. Yeah, here's Jackson Potom. We'll check it back into Jimmy Gould. And out there, this is uh, Kaylin Latour. He's just bowed in. Now Jackson Potama, he's on the ball. Fifth and foul, just going to go through. And they got a recount there. And once again, you know, tell we we not mentioned a lot about a heads up, eyes up play. And that's what it is. Yeah, absolutely. And that also comes off the back of a good platform. Some good yards up the middle. And unfortunately, the Thames Valley defence wasn't up to it. As we see Kapiti Horofenua go bang, bang early. In the second half. Yeah, and here we have it on the Uffy replay. So these three boys have all grown up together, gone through the grades together. So it's a really good uh, pot. So here you go, Kaylin off the right foot and just slides it in. These two boys won gold medal with Carpenter Hordafenua, uh, 21 boys a couple of years back. So they look really uh, comfortable playing at this level. But here's our man Zinzan Penny on the ball, George. Yeah, Zinzan Penny, he's been outstanding. He's one that's saying we need to watch him whenever he has the ball. I talked about it before, and that's exactly... What they talked about, exactly there, and they got it this time. We talked about being tighter, being connected. Let's see what Horofenua got on defence. Yeah, Makiha's out there too, he, um, and he's always uh, worked, worked tirelessly. Look at this quickie inside, inside defenders there, and they've definitely tightened up this two-man game. Here we go again, Cam Ferreira's come through, just checking off to Evans, and it goes back here. Yeah, this is, it's unfortunate, it's a bit of a common trend of his... Uh, Early in the first half, he was shoulders need to be squared out there, George. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just one of those little things, one percenters. Um, it's down to the referee through that midfield if he calls it or not. He wants it tighter there. They know now. 
shoulders need to be facing forward. And Ponamu Kinikona, she comes off her wing into the middle because she knows no one's there. And take, takes time there. Inside ball there. That's a good double off by Cam Ferreira. So number six, he's also injected himself. Woody Hunter, Tawake. Just laying the platform there. Just look for this ball over the top. And there goes Zoe Ferreira. That's a good touch. Beautiful touch. Really like the look of this young girl. Yeah, Zoe Ferreira. She's been outstanding all tournament. I use that word outstanding because there's a lot of them out there. She's been brilliant playing every minute of this tournament. And she's still going, catching everything, chasing out, getting some vital touch there. Well done, young lady. Yeah, and also right there, Sienna Lord just shut that one down at uh, this uh, winger here for Carpenter Hora Whenua. Here goes Ferreira, Cam. Just working really hard, coming down the sideline. Great touch there, gear yeah, number four. There she is, Summer the Theory. Uh, always in the moments. This is nice work, touch four. One more there, Kahurangi. Gray's going to have a scoop on the back end. They've got numbers if he comes off the other side. Look at him go through. Plenty of time. Just finds an unmarked Cameron Bond. And they touch down again. And um, I've got to say, Kapiti Horofenua, they've actually come out of the blocks pumping. And uh, I, I won't let into our acrobatic training back home. <laughs> I just seen a bit of a, a, a backwards flip, but that's how excited. But look at the speed. So this is the platform. Cameron Bond, he's the one that actually planted. And look at Kahurangi Gray. He's got speed for days. And right past him, touches down and... Um, yeah, just super excited. Super excited. He could be in a circus. Look at that. Back flip there. Little juggle before he puts the ball down. That is solid. He's wasting his talents. He's got a second job right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So here goes Makiha. Yeah, touchdown ball. And um, you got got Anthony Makiha. He will always stay in this game here. You know, he'll be in the moments. And when he uh, picks his time right, uh, he'll take it. Yeah, absolutely, and I think this just comes down to sheer determination. It's an easy little quickie play, simple low percentage play, and it's just some guts shown by this Thames Valley team. We, talk, we saw in the uh, 30 men's final, it went right down to the wire, and I have a feeling this Thames Valley Kapiti Horofenua 21 mix game will also be the same. Yes, Sienna Law, just like this, how they use the girls on the tap off here, because... Uh, well, yeah, run a little hater play there. Kaylin Latour just got a gas out, slide it in, and touch down there. Just the beautiful variation. And they're using people, you know, like fast fast people in the right place. Although they've gone out to a 9 7 leave here, it is on the Uffy replay. It's just all speed, slides it in nice and low. And that's beautiful to watch. It's 9 7, but if you're not looking at the scoreboard, there's, there's nothing in this game, George. Nothing in it. And when Latour wants to shut the door with tries like that, he's come here for business. He wants this grand final. He's been here before. He wants to shut the gate and take this home back to the central region. But Thames Valley are not going down. They're not lying down. They're back at the five metre line, ready for action. Yeah, here's our man Lidai, well, he's out there again along with Damien McCaskill, he's gonna get the ball Lidai, left to right just in the hole, beautiful shot, there she is again, Zoe Ferreira just tirelessly on defence, great work there, great work. Here we go, fifth and final, looking from nothing, just chucking it around, keeping it in the right place of the field. What a Whorofenua, what do you say about this, Tiao, Daddy? What are you thinking with them? Oh, with this Whorofenua side, they do have a bit of a buffer. Um, and as we see, we talk about the positives, and that's that commentator's curse that creeps in the game. But I think for this last 13 minutes of the game, I think they can dictate the pace, just control it, and just don't allow this Thames Valley attack back into it. Yeah, and I could just see, like, the, the site really united there. Oh, beautiful work there. And uh, they got punished uh, for their mistake. But the error that was made is going off the wrong. Your roll's actually the drive forward, but just saw a little opening and passed it off. But that's how you learn in the game, eh, George? Yeah, exactly. And you're vulnerable. Um, Zoe did very well to get out there, but you're always going to be vulnerable to the inside. Unfortunately, there was no inside runner to back up that step back in play. Nice touchdown, Thames Valley. Hopefully, we get that number of that touchdown because that was beautiful, a beautiful finish, Tao Yeah, Tikatonu. As we see the replay. They go back out to that far right side and it was just a nice right foot step. And number yes. three? It's Aria Ellis uh, by the looks. Um, beautiful uh, right, uh, a step off the right foot. And now um, Thames Valley, they've come back and managed to stop uh, attacking Raid, which I think is the first time in this half. It's pretty much been, uh, once again, it's like a couple of heavyweight uh, fighters going at it, jab for jab, round for round. Here we go, Makiha. Be good to see him back on the ball. He's out there with uh, Zin Zan. Look at the speed on the blocks. Yeah, and that's great officiating there by uh, Johnny Broughton. 
It comes down to the speed of the sprint in the 5 meter, 10 meter race there. And the Hurufanua player, he's pretty good over 10. So he got enough time to get on site and make that touch and stop that power scoop on that particular play. Yeah, totally agree. I think it's all about rhythm and keeping things fluid. And that's good work by Alyssa Matetti. Here we go again. This is another great combination. It's, it's really great how Pani's managed to balance this team. A team from two provinces. Oh, they got a penalty there. Yeah, Taylor. You know what I like about these penalties given away? I haven't seen any player argue back. And so they generally know it's a good call and they've just got on with it. Yeah, absolutely. And it goes to show uh, these kids have been raised in good provinces and installed some good values into these kids. Yeah, and just... Just much like Thames Valley in the first half, this two-man game seems to work. So we come in here, and here goes Ferreira, gets the ball, step back and uh, checks back. And I think that's a great touchdown because uh, Evans has worked tirelessly this whole half, George. Yeah, it's been, it's been a great half. And Greenfield, he's, he's rewarded for all his efforts there. Um, linking up with Fantastic, Mr. Fantastic himself, Cameron Ferreira, who's, um, who's, who's on fire at the moment, and he's spotting everything right and looking for the right options. He's going long, he's going short, he's stepping back and feeding to the holes. It's been a good day for Cameron Ferreira. Yeah, my apologies there, Ben, great touchdown. We've worked tirelessly the whole game. Uh, couldn't quite see the number, I might need to on uh, <laughs> as, the, as the game comes in with the glare. But this is more positive from Kapiti Horofino getting this high point defender out there. Kahurangi's in there, this is good work. Nice, great work, Zoe. Man, she's uh, she saved them again. She saved them again. She was looking to go wide because there was option there. She had to make a pick, held in the right spot, and then made the beautiful touch there that stopped the touchdown. This is good pressure from Thames Valley moving up. It's only touch three. They haven't even got over halfway. That's four. Great work there from some of the theory. Now they've got to either move the ball and check it back inside a couple of times. But once again, awesome defence. So that's final there. Here we go, oh, fifth and final here. Comes through Kaylin Latour. Is that him on the ball? Comes through Jimmy. Good good work there by Nidai. I, I just want to compliment uh, that Thames Valley defence. Uh, they're, they're really starting to lift in, in their defensive attitude like they did in the first half. Yeah, and it's just understanding the spacings. Uh, they're now used to the big fives, or well, the generous fives that these refs are calling. And may I uh, mention, they have been consistent uh, over the tournament with those big fives allowing this g game to open up and these players, talented players, to express themselves. Yeah, well, as you see, once again, I really like the look also number 60 uh, from the Hauraki, uh, Joshua Winihana Tawaki. If you look, it's, uh, we've had 19 touchdowns in this game, so it is a real reflection of the attitude that these teams have brought to this final. This is the 21 mix gold medal match to see who will be reigned the champion of champions. Uh, for the Bunnies Warehouse Nationals. Coming again, Latour just check it again. Ferreira, check out on the outside again. Yes, and uh, yeah, look, definitely look forward from up here in the commentary box. And I think this has to do with Thames Valley's pressure. Yeah, Thames Valley's pressure. They're looking for the open plays there, but there was opportunity to force the pass. Unfortunately, it was forward that time. But going back to the build-up to this tournament, it's been a long three days, and what's happened is Portofanua had to take the long way through and had a semi-final to get here, and it was to, um, I can't remember who it was going to be, Taranaki. but Taranaki, yeah, the other central region team, and it went to 14-9. Well, that's 23 touchdowns, and what a game it was. I asked who the favourite players were that were showing their stuff. It was 100% a team effort, and we're seeing that out there in the grand final today. Yeah, I just want to pay homage to the likes of uh, Dougie and all that Shane Gray and those whānau down there in the, the Taranaki region. Taranaki Tornadoes are doing great work, and for many, many years they were a real threat in the open mixed grade and the 21s. But here we go live again, coming through all in bond. They're just getting really, really excited, and I think Pania Gray, I think she'll be sending the messages out, stick to the process, stick to the systems. Yeah, unfortunate there for Summer, because uh, Montel there, I think... You know, when I look at Montel, Summer, Zoe, these three girls for me that have really stood out, you know, the mixed game is in really good hands, especially with our, our young female athletes. Yeah, absolutely. And we see that females getting stuck into this one, making some good touches and carrying well and finishing well out there. As you mentioned, it is a mixed game. It's important to work together. Oh, great work. Another, oh, unfortunately, she was just... Zaria Ellis, yes, she was actually, she made the right decision to, to come in, but, um, you know, when you're hot, you're hot, George, and we're going to look on the Afri replay, it looks like Kahurangi Gray comes in, so they send the sweeper, 
and they don't actually feed the sweeper, they just come short time, and it looks like number seven there is that our man Evans, who just shuts down for Kapiti Horofenua. He's got on the scoreboard, and Kapiti Horofenua lead this final 12-8. Uh, Kahurangi Gray has been great with the decision making on that sweep play. That's two times now he's gone short side and capitalised with two touchdowns. A beautiful, beautiful reading. Here's Nidai. Yeah, looking up for a little phase and also his mate Damien McCaskill. He goes Nidai, just cruises into the end goal. Nice ball over. Oh, and really, yeah, he's another player. I think George have been in the mix game for a long time. One to look out for. Oh, definitely. This. Yeah, there's a lot of players. We can talk through the cows till the cows come home about the talent that's on show here with the 21s. Maybe he could have ran it over a little bit more. He had a bit more time to feed a good pass to our female. They were outstanding out there and doing good things, but make it a little bit easier for them. Yeah, well, uh, you talked earlier that, um, you know, Kapiti Horofenua, so Thames Valley went straight through to this final uh, because they just worked so great. There goes Zoe, it's girl on girl in the corner there. That's a good little uh, uh, a tussle over their far edge. So just going to move it to a bit of a walk up here. Just trying to get the right target. And Ferreira, he'll get on this ball right to left over the top to his sister, who will touch down in the corner there, George. And there we go. What a beautiful pass. Uh, reminds me in the backyard, <laughs> passing with the, with the brothers there. But uh, what a wonderful way. Isn't it awesome to see the old... Um, the, the final connection here. So here we go. Cam always knew you could see it coming a mile away. Steps back right to left over the top to his sister. And uh, she actually made that pass look even prettier. Yeah, and he's been testing them in tight. So he knows it's going to open up wide, wide because they have to come in now because he's working the middle plays and always passing long to his sister. I've seen it many times in Wellington in the competition. He is one to expect high expectations of her and she's delivered every single time. He'll be a happy brother. Now, Chaldi, he's still for just shy of five minutes left and there's only five touchdowns in there's plenty of time uh, to go back to I guess probably what was working they've gone away a little bit from there yeah absolutely this Thames Valley side uh, may, may be a bit of nerves they're down a bit and teams do tend go, to go away uh, from their structures and their patterns but as you mentioned they I think they just need to come back to what was working for them and this will help them help them it will invite them back into an attacking set. Thames Valley, as you mentioned, just over four minutes to play yet. That left, that's plenty of time, Ehoa. Yeah, well, Tiana, she actually, she was the one that made that penalty happen because she went up to touch a carpet the hurdle field where player got um, obstructed and then looked straight at the ref. So that's just been um, in the moment and switched on with what's going on. Here goes our man, Maki High's going to get the ball back. Little follow play, too easy. And there it is again, Zinzan Penny. And Anthony Makiha, they make these touchdowns look so easy, George. Yeah, half of it's in the name Penny, eh? Anything that Penny's attached to <laughs> is style. Styly Penny, um, that's that's your nickname, but he's out there doing the damage today. And we all said he's the man to watch out for. And you know very well from your experience dealing with under-17s New Zealand mixed team in 2011 and 12, you know what to look for. And it's great to hear you saying there's some beautiful talent out here because you are now the New Zealand Open Mix co-coach, right? And you love what you see. Ah, head coach there, George. Thanks for that. Uh, here we go. Caitlin Latour there on the ball. He's going to just pass to the wing. There goes again. Zoe Ferrer. So she's played. Uh, she plays every minute of every game. Uh, so if you had out how many games. So the conditioning that you have to get your body into, I know you'll be used to playing massive minutes for a tournament. Your fitness training would be different to, say, your link or your middle, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's more an endurance, low intensity, uh, and you don't really spike your heart rate out there a lot. Um, you pick your moments. Uh, you don't get too many out there, but you do pick your moments and you go hard when they do come. And it's also good to see that someone's playing the full 40 minutes, um, allowing another attacking middle or link to come into the sub box. George, has at times changed? Uh, it used to be, used to be of, uh, 14 players, seven girls and seven guys. And then someone come up with this eight guys, six skills. And then someone come up now, it's nine and five, and I've even seen a ten and four. So haven't times changed, George? Yeah, looking at the game and expectations, they've broken it down to work rates of each player, where they're best and, and formatting the team. And, and they've come down to people lasting the whole game. Would never have thought of that in 15 years ago. And just work rate, that just comes down to technology, knowledge, research on what best to work out. Back in the day we were playing, girl in the middle for the whole game. Now and then it's great to see the girl coming in, especially when you've got the firepower there. 
Mate, the, the world's your oyster on what you put out there on the field. Sounds like Paul Atahi rejoins. That's right. In the middle, mate. That's right. You, you give her an inch, she'll take the mile. Yeah, well, she was good enough to be in the middle too. But once again, Thames Valley, their attitude hasn't dropped. They've put massive pressure on, and Carpenter have been forced into another era. So they're going to finish. They're going to finish this game on a high. They've just done the uh, the province so proud. Here goes Nidai. Just oh no, just through the hands there, number eight. Oh, unlucky. That was uh, a Wairangi Penny brother there. Quick transfer to the wing of 14. And Tiana Tiro, she's another girl that's worked tirelessly. Here goes Tiana there. Law coming through on the ball. Great work there. Jimmy Gould coming up, just doing the job. Uh, here comes our man, probably one of the I, I dare say. Might come close to the MVP of the great, the uh, George Camferreira. Here we go, coming out there. He's not finished yet, mate. He's no, not he hasn't. Finished. And they're just going to walk this one up. They've uh, got a minute to go. Uh, they're leading this one. They're probably going to put this one uh, to, to rest. Here it goes, Cam. Steps off his right, little short ball. Oh, did he double off there? Yeah, nice touchdown. Good honesty there. And uh, I think it's our man, Renfell, that touches down and... It's good to see George them stay nice and humble when they score these touchdowns. Yeah, it's great. Um, these guys have been putting a lot of work. We, we're Knowing with uh, Ben Greenfield, he wasn't probably going to be here. Dislocated his um, elbow. He's put in a lot of work to be here. Done the yards and the reward. Two touchdowns, maybe three. What a great day. What a great game. Well, I saw him at trials, actually, George. When he came to the trial and he was all bandaged up, but he ran out the, you know, you know the policy and the rules and what you've got to do. We've got one more touch, the, the full-time Huda has gone. Here goes Makiha Anthony, moving it through. Zinzan Penny, they're going to take the touch. And uh, there it is, Kapiti Hora Whenua are your under-21 mix national touch champions for 2020. Teams Valley, they've been uh, unreal. They really uh, set a high standard day one and day two. And uh, George, uh, proud day for both provinces. Oh, proud day. Proud day for these provinces. Smaller provinces on the scale of the um, mounted players around the Rohe and New Zealand that come to these events. They get these small numbers together and then they get the title, number one and number two. What I like to say is I like the way the coach moved that ball and changed the direction of attack. Wide, short, wide attack. And it just made it really hard for Thames Valley. Yeah, and it's a clinical performance out there by Kapiti Horofenua who take ho home the gold. They are the champions in the 21 mixed grade at the 2020 Bunnings National Touch Championships Ehikama. Coming up next we have the Open Women's Final Auckland White versus Counties Manuko Black at 240. Kei tawhiti koutou.